Did I wake you? Uh, no, I just didn't get much sleep last night. What's going on? Well, I was just on my way to buy some overpriced shoes to go with my overpriced dress. You want to come? Oh, thanks, but it's not a good time. Is everything okay? Yeah, fine. Gotta go. go. <sighs> Please don't shut me out, Catherine. Now that you're home from the hospital, I want us to go back to the way we used to be. There was a time you and I could tell each other anything. Oh, hey, Susan. Morning, hon. Uh, I'll go make a coffee. Uh, so, anything you want to tell me? Robin the Stripper? You had sex with Robin the Stripper? Holy Chaz Bono. Was that the first time you ever... Yes. And Robin's at her cousin's wedding, so I only have a couple of days to figure this out. Am I gay now? Well, did you enjoy it? I don't know. It was different. I mean, we started kissing, and then we... No, no de details necessary. Catherine, you're not gay. As much as you think you can switch your entree from meat to fish, it doesn't work that way. This is not a choice. But how could this have happened if I'm not gay? Look, I was with women all through my 20s. Any excuse to drag that out. But it always felt weird. Then when I slept with a man, I knew that was it. Then, a thousand men later, he found me. My point is, if it didn't feel quite right to you, chances are it's just a one-time thing. Oh, maybe you're right. We were both pretty drunk. If you're not sure, take sex out of it. Get to know Robin. It's a little late to start dating. We already lived together. That is fast. Maybe you are a lesbian. Oh! Hey! Yeah, not to put any pressure on you, but I caught the bouquet. <sighs> Oh. Um, do we need to talk? I mean, we haven't since it happened. <laughs> First of all, you are a wonderful, beautiful person. Oh. Yeah, I was, uh... I was drunk. I, I didn't even know what I was doing until I was doing it, and then, well... The other night was a mistake, and I'm so sorry. <sighs> that is complete crap. What? I'm not gonna let you blame what happened on being drunk. Okay, then. You know what I've been through recently, and maybe I was trying to forget that with you, but I am not attracted to women. So, no matter what it was, it doesn't count. I know how you touched me. And I, I saw the look in your eyes when I touched you. You may deny it now, but we connected. And it counted. Refreshing than taking a nap. I told you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, honey? Yeah? Don't dress in front of the window. I'm afraid of what your body could do to Roy's heart. Whoops. <laughs> so, uh, did you ever call him back? Yeah, this morning. Mrs. McCleskey had her surgery, and apparently she's cancer free, so Roy's throwing a party to celebrate. Oh, that's so sweet. I hope you told him we'll be there. Can we talk about that? I 
told him we'd go, but I don't think we should go together. Hmm. What do you mean? Uh, well, it's just, except for Susan, people don't really know what's going on with us. Hey, you know what's funny? Neither do I. <laughs> so, what is going on between us? I mean, are we friends with benefits? Are we just dating? What? Do we have to put a label on it? No, I just... I just want to know how you're feeling. I really like you. That's how I feel. Can't that be enough for now? It could be. But it could also be pretty wonderful to let people know how happy we make each other. Uh, I don't know. Hey. I was right about the nap. Now remember, we're not a couple. I know. We're on a covert lesbian mission. I'm sorry. I just want people not to figure out we're together. It'll blow their minds. Oh, please. You stabbed yourself and blamed Mike in this and blew their minds. Hey, ladies. Hey, Tom. Having fun? Best cancer party ever. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, I was talking to Karen's doctor. Uh, you made quite the impression on him. Me? Yeah, he begged me to introduce you. D d do you mind? Why would I? We're only roommates. He was a doctor. He was a surgeon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I always knew I'd go to med school. You know that incredible feeling of helping people. Plus, they give you that little pad and you can write any prescription you want. <laughs> Beautiful and laughs at my jokes. Two more cocktails and I may be proposing. <laughs> Hi. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Will you excuse me, David? <laughs> and she never smoked a day in her life. You could be that girl, Lee. <laughs> Look, it's one thing to hide our relationship. It's another to flirt with a man right in my face. I wasn't flirting. He was flirting with me. I saw your face. You were enjoying it. Okay. Keep your mind, Catherine. Are you gay or straight? I don't know. Just because I enjoy having sex with you doesn't make me a lesbian. Hi, Catherine. I haven't seen you since the party. How you doing? Still humiliated. Thanks for asking. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. My sex life was laid bare for the entire neighborhood. What could be worse? Let's see. You could have thrown a party to celebrate getting over cancer and had a couple of lesbians steal your thunder. Sorry about that. But it's not funny, knowing everyone is out there judging me. Let me ask you something. Do you really like this girl? I don't know. I think I might. Then why do you give a damn what anyone else thinks? People just stop seeing me as the crazy lady on the street. I'm not ready for them to start seeing me as the middle-aged lesbian, okay? Well, if you care that much about what people think, you've got two choices. Dump the girl or move someplace where people don't gossip, if such a place exists. It's not much of a choice. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, I get it. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Break it up. This is how rumors get started. <sighs> I've rehearsed this speech a hundred times. Well, I think I know how it ends. <laughs> I can't live my life with everyone in the neighborhood watching me and judging me. I care too much about what people think. So you want me to leave? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to go with you. Seriously? I want to figure out what we have here. And once I know, maybe I won't care what anyone thinks. <laughs> well, you know what I think? What? 
I've always wanted to see Paris. <laughs> Some battles are won with a hasty retreat.